All right, where's... Wait, it's not charms class. It's potions class, right? It is potions class. The fuck, why, why was I thinking about charms? Man, I am fucking out of the loop. All right, well. No. Let's go to potions class. Okay, now that I made a little scourgeons is out the way. Here we are. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I gotta wait. Assignments coming along. Very good, sir. Revelio. Very, very good. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Professor Sharp's horror badge. Horror com uh, comprise the ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. The horror's badge belongs to Professor Sharp. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Don't let it wander. Don't let it wander. The pushing spell. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best. Sorry. Sorry, Professor. Hold on. No. Flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest you have your enchanted books here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Thank you. The Banshee's Charm de Pulso is a force spell. Push his enemies Still away. At it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Thank you, Professor. Let's brew uh, this potion real quick. Now I could do that one thing. Uh, I don't remember where it was. It's near the uh, the cross wand where the fuck it was. But now I can do that. Okay, now, now that that's out the way. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Let's go to flying class, because flying class is the next class. All right, let's do it. Oh shit! Fla uh, flattened armor. This is the armor belonging to Sir Scalingthorpe, the headless who unwisely challenged the, a mountain troll to a game of musical chair. <laughs> Musical chair and he got fucking flattened, dude. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shit, that's fun. All right, here we are. Who do you think will fall from their broom? Everybody, grab a broom and we shall get started. I've read one thousand magical herbs in fungi. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now. 
now. Your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> Not the side thing. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Yes, Madam Kagawa. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Room. The brooms are school property. Ah. I oh, want them returned I think in I'm one piece. The hang of this. Yes, good and lean. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, Madam Kagawa. Kogawa. Kogawa? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello! Nice day for a flight! You're telling <gasps> me. That wasn't too bad. Look uh, from the movies! The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Just like in the movies. Wow, it's so beautiful. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> is, that a is that a fucking giant squid? Oh, hell no. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? No, dude, only I saw it. Which is true. Only I saw. Oh, well done. Thank you. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Uh, we we'll get in trouble. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, that's tough. That would be bad. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? It is. You know, you can see more. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? I don't know, Dye. something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh. Oh, hold. LT is for the burst, okay. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Oh, shit. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Uh, I think we're going to get in trouble. Hurry 
and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Yeah. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Honestly? Yes. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I right, thank you. Main quest complete. Revelio. The cross one's duel is to beat. I'm convinced I'm the only one in my dormitory who does Heck yeah. I'm the one to beat. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice. <gasps> Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I can't even Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, you know, I, oh. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay, thank you, Professor Weasley. All right, let's see the quest. So these are main quests: the uh, meet Sebastian and Confringo, and the room requirements. I get the conjuring spell Ev Evanes Evanesco and the conjuration spellcraft, and then this one I just have to. Just a side quest. Just a side quest is all. Okay. So, most likely I'll just do the side quest first. Look at all the, all the ones I have. Damn. Um, first, also let's go ahead with talents. Might as well use it while, because I'm about to call it quits. Um, go to spells. Um, so everyone gets like fucking... Boom! Gotta think of what I want. A curse effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. I do like that. Ancient magic throw, uh, throw catches and disarm enemies. Um, desert cast basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contributing more the ancient magic meter oh. here we go here we go here we go here we go there we go now my revelio is stronger revelio yeah all right. Anyways, um, that is where I'm gonna leave it off today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Sorry that it wasn't. It's not that long, but you know, it's uh, sometimes it's not gonna be long. It's some, sometimes sometimes it's gonna be short. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give us a like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Guys, talk to you guys in the next one.
goodbye and take care.